Situated in Lewis in East Sussex, the Priory of St. Pancras was founded by William the Warren and his wife Gundarada between 1078 and 1082 CE. Here, in the 11th century, monks came from Cluny in France to establish the first Cluniac Priory in England. The Priory survived for 450 years until the dissolution of monasteries in 1537 CE under Henry VIII. There was already a small Saxon religious building made of wood on site. The first monks under Prior Lanzo extended it as an impressive stone church. The main buildings, including the Great Priory Church, were put up in core limestone in Romanesque style between 1082 to 1100 CE and in Cain limestone from 1145 to the 13th century CE. Repairs and additions continued up to the monastery's dissolution. The great church had an internal length of 128 meters, with an internal vault height of 28 meters at the altar and 32 meters at the crossing. Its walls were decorated with beautiful frescoes and the floors covered with glazed tiles. The dormitory would have extended right up to the transept of the church. It would have been 102 feet long and 35 feet wide. At the southeast angle was a projecting square building measuring 10 feet by 8.5 feet within. At a later phase, the dormitory was expanded to accommodate more people. This enlargement was made towards the south and east. The monks' toilets were built over a sewer. Chutes leading down from each toilet to the sewer channeled away the waste. The drainage is in the form of a well-built tunnel, five feet wide, at least five feet high. It was lined with stone and covered by a barrel vault. The toilet building was built in two phases, in the 11th and the 12th centuries. It initially had a total of 10 cubicles, although no doors seem to have been provided. It was probably a bath house at the west end of the building. By the end of the 12th century, a new, larger toilet block was built to accommodate the growing number of monks. A longer dormitory was then built over the older toilet block. This is the largest surviving structure of the Priory today. Remains of a large infirmary can be seen to the northeast of the dormitory range. It provided asylum to the elderly monks while the sick monks were treated here. The infirmary was complete with its own kitchen, toilet and a small garden. It was also one of the few buildings in the Priory with fireplaces to provide heat. Fragments of three leaning buttresses indicate the presence of a kitchen building here. These buttresses were probably added in the 15th century. They are adorned with flint checker work. Signs of flooding indicate that the kitchen building was washed away, while only the buttresses remain. The kitchen garden is visible nearby, which would have provided the necessary herbs and vegetables required by the residents of the complex. At present, the Priory Park is maintained by Lewis Priory Trust and is open to all visitors. A small model of the site in its heyday is displayed in the park to aid interpretation of the ruins by the visitors.